I know why you're here. I can't help you. You must. It's too late. Look. You must help me. Help you. Help you, brother. Gonna marry Simon. <laughs> it says so right here. Look. 
American diplomat's daughter to marry British photographer Simon Burns. Yeah, but last week they were betting on that Greek shipping magnate, weren't they? Yeah, but Simon's much nicer. And you think so, too. I'll get it. It'll be Simon. Simon! Hello, Susie. Oh! <gasps> Oh, look, I can't ride him now. I've got to go to church. Nobody's riding him, and the mare's for Charlie. Is she up yet? Good morning, Ruth. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, she's up and about, or she ought to be. She knew you were coming. That doesn't necessarily follow, does it? Not with Charlie. Well, I'll, I'll tell her you're here. Uh, it's bad for the American image if we arrive late. Ah, oh, good morning, Simon. Good morning, sir. Looks as though I'm faking an entrance. Well, now, we all ready? Uh, yes, sir. Carson, I hardly think it's necessary for you to come along. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but my instructions are to accompany you at all public appearances. Public appearances? A service in a small village church? Do you know there hasn't been an act of violence in this place in 400 years? Well, I'm sorry, sir, but, uh, well, I am a devout churchgoer. <laughs> But I insist this stays behind. All right, sir. Security. Simon, will you stay for lunch? Well, it depends on Charlie, but thank you, sir. Ah. She'll be down in a moment. Right, thanks, Ruth. Let's go, girls. Don't make Susie? Charlie go to church. Why doesn't she have to go? Because Charlie... Oh, because she's Charlie, that's why. Come on, girls, let's go. See you later, Simon. Yes, indeed. Charlie! Won't be a moment. I brought the mare for you to try. If you like her, she's yours. Good morning, Simon. How do you like her? Your horse could outrun her any day. Oh, stallion's a brute. You take some handling. But she's fun, isn't she? Hey, aren't you, my beauty? You were really frisky there. She's one of the nicest mares I've come across. He's male. And I haven't met a male I couldn't handle. Get up! Don't be stupid, Charlie! He's too strong for you! You try this time. Yeah. 
Yes? Mr. Harrow? Yes? The agency sent me. I'm the new nurse. Oh, yes. I'm going to like it here. <laughs> nurse? Elizabeth Morn. But I like people to call me Bessie. Oh, I don't want to! I don't want to! Maybe you better start right away then, Bessie. Sooner the better. My daughter's a difficult patient. want to be left alone. Do you understand? I want to be left... And who the devil are you? I'm your new nurse, dear. <gasps> nurse? Oh, oh, we have been making a noise, haven't we? Upsetting and distressing ourselves. Ruth, get her out of here. My sister has these moods. The doctors have said that we have I to... I know, leave. dear. I know all about it. Now, why don't you run along so that your sister and I can get to know each other a little bit better? I don't want a new nurse! I'll run you out like all the others. Not very nice, dear. Talk like that's never going to make you better. I am not going to get better. Not ever. I am stuck here until I die. Now you get out of here, do you hear me? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! You'll see, dear. Nurse will make it better. Sleeping now. The rest will do her good. Well, then she's taken to you. Well, not quite, but uh, she will. <laughs> I, I hope so. I imagine the agency told you. Seven nurses in as many weeks, right? Yes, the last one stayed, what, two days? I saw it coming this morning. That's why I called the agency. Oh, I'm glad you did. She's a difficult one, determined. I don't think you quite understand the circumstances, Miss... Uh... Bessie. I like people to call me Bessie. Well, Bessie... My sister was a very active girl and very beautiful. Now, since the accident... I know. Hardly been... My last case was not unlike it. Mr. Harrow, yes. I do like to be as near my patients as possible. Uh, who occupies the room next to your daughter? I do. Oh, well, then in that case, you won't mind moving out, will you, dear, for your sister's sake? No. No, I guess not. Thank you, dear. Well, will there be... Anything else you need, Bessie? Well, I do like to eat with the family. It, it makes less of a gap between your daughter and me if she doesn't regard me as a sort of servant. Of course. And your daughter's welfare is totally my concern. She will be totally under my control, agreed? Agreed. I knew I was going to like it here. Hey, Ruth! Ruthie! Oh, I just asked me for a date. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Bessie, your sister's new nurse. And you must be Susie. That's right. And you're about 16, right? And three months. <laughs> 16 is such a lovely, susceptible age. Yeah. Hey, what are you making? It's a herb broth for your sister. Herbs? Oh, yes, I believe in them. Sage and cowslip and devil's foot mm -hmm. and this one. We call it devil's foot. What a funny name. Never heard it called that before. Not a bit like it. He's not fierce, really. He only sounds fierce. You gotta fight for me. I'm sorry if he scared you. Heel, Porter. Heel. That's it. Sit. Sit. Behave yourself. Stop that. Who's the new addition to the household? Uh, the big lady. Oh, the latest nurse. Oh, for Pete's sake, not another one. You know, I wish her dad would keep me informed. 
Well, well, you know, security. Everyone has to be checked out. You haven't found a potential assassin yet, have you? No. Well, it's just a formality, you know that. Stop that, Porter. This one, I'm, uh, I'm not so sure. Porter didn't like her. His hair stood right up on his back. Didn't it, boy? And sometimes I'd rather trust a dog than people. Well, her name is Elizabeth Morn, Bessie. And she comes from the agency with a better pedigree than Porter's. Did you hear what she said, Porter? Yeah, Carson looks after Pop. Not that anyone's ever likely to take a shot at him. <laughs> He's far too nice. <laughs> but wouldn't that be exciting? A stake out around the house, bullets flying, the riot squad. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a leaning towards violence, dear. <laughs> yeah. Just for something exciting to happen around here. Does uh, Mr. Carson live here? Yeah, like one of the family. And his dog? You hit me. I'm sorry about that, but, well, sometimes a bit of shock treatment. Anyway, the rest will have done you good. Oh, such a fright. We can't have people seeing you like this. I don't want people to see me. I don't want to see anyone. Not now, perhaps, but later on, when you're better. I'm not going to get better. I broke my back. I'll never be better. That's because you don't believe. Once you start to believe, really believe, mm -hmm. things will be different. Tell the police? Yeah. But what can they do? The poor old porter was such a nice dog. I ever get my hands on the guy. probably been worrying sheep. Or chickens. You know what these farmers are like? Mmm. That was delicious. Well, if you'd excuse me, I'll, uh, I'll just go and attend to my little charge. Porter never went after sheep, did he? Never. Never. Well, you've hardly touched your soup, dear. I don't want soup. Anyway, it tasted funny. But it'll help to make you better. You don't believe I can, do you? But I can make you better. Of course, a lot depends on you, your cooperation. We would have to come to an agreement. A bond between us that nothing could break. We'd be soulmates, dear. <laughs> that woman is certainly making a change around here.
Charlie, are you awake? Good night, Charlie. I'm sorry, I thought I smelled something burning. My pipe. I like that slow burning sensation. Of course, I can only enjoy it in private. Much too masculine for public use. <laughs> well, good night then. Good night, dear. Sleep well. Isn't there? There is an improvement. None that I can detect. But you're more cheerful. You're brighter in yourself. And that's a good thing. This new nurse is doing you good. See you next week, Charlie. Well done. You're taking excellent care of her. Thank you, Doctor. There's no change. Not even a tiny change. I told you it would take a little time. Rome wasn't built in a day. Mind you, it took less than a day to destroy it. By fire. How are you getting on with your studies? I am about halfway. Ah, oh, that's my girl. <laughs> my girl. Excuse me. Carson, mm -hmm. how did she check out? Hmm? The new nurse, Bessie. Oh, they're going to have to go right through the whole procedure again. You mean you can't trace her? Oh, on the contrary. The uh, spot trace they ran on there took them way, way back. Too far. They couldn't find a birth certificate. Just an uninterrupted lineage. <laughs> Must have been a slip-up in our record somewhere, or Bessie's older than a Methuselah. I know every word by heart. I'm ready, aren't I, Bessie? I must be ready. You're very close. Now hold still. When? You must know when. How soon? Charlie. Ruth. I feel as if I haven't seen you in days. You're looking so much better and brighter. Oh, and thank goodness you're letting somebody do something with your hair at last. Oh, well, it has to look good now, doesn't it? Well, when I'm up and about again. Oh, Charlie, I, I think it would be a mistake to start raising false hopes. You know what the doctors said. I don't believe in doctors. I believe in Bessie. Well, I'll come back later. When, Bessie? When? Well, um, how would this evening suit you? Father. Yes? I'm worried about Charlie and whatever Bessie's been telling her. Charlie's convinced that she's going to walk again. Bessie's been feeding it to her. Now, I'm not so sure we shouldn't find ourselves a new nurse. Ruth, how can you say that? From the moment Bessie arrived, Charlie's been a more cheerful, more amenable girl, certainly a quieter one. Yes, but if Bessie's been raising false hopes... It I must mean, what be is it psychologically gonna... right to get her interested in something. And what's going to happen when the letdown comes? I am sure Bessie knows exactly what she is doing. Now, come on, let's have some dinner. Ah. Thank you, Ruth. 
You know, I wish Simon had come here again. Now, you know very well Charlie put a stop to that. She wouldn't let him. Yes, but he could come to see me, couldn't he? Why not? Well, if Charlie doesn't want him, I wouldn't mind him. Susie! Well, I wouldn't. Nor would Ruth. She misses him, too. <laughs> I guess you are right. Simon is a little old for me. Anyway, Tommy would be jealous. And who is Tommy? Why, I'm dating in the village. Dating? If your mother was still alive. Ruth, did you know about this? No. I was going to tell Ruth the other day. Bessie stopped me. Bessie? She said I was old enough to have a little fun. Said I was old enough for anything. sake, what was that? I heard a scream. Huh? A terrifying scream. It's Charlie. Charlie! 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 <laughs> <laughs> My God. God. Where is she? Upstairs. But when she called me, I couldn't believe it after so long. It is true, isn't it, Ruth? Yes, it's true. It's fantastic, miraculous. But upstairs, you said. Simon, she's still very fragile. Don't tire her. Come in. I can't believe it. I, I really can't believe it. That's a secret, Simon. Believing. Remember, my lovely, be faithful. You feel it too, don't you? I don't know. Uh, an atmosphere. I don't know. But I don't like it. Bessie! Bessie? Bessie! Hello, Mr. Harrow. Bessie. You know, there's no doubt you brought a considerable change to this household. Charlie, she's just as she was. No, more so. 
Bessie, I know your job is done here now. I hate the thought of you moving away. What I mean is, this house is yours as long as you care to stay. Well, I shall have to move on sometime. <laughs> but not right away. Still things to do. Things to take care of. I'll be here a little while yet. Ruth! Ruth! In here. Ruth, she's agreed. Charlie, she said yes. We're going to be married. I'm just going to take her out for a drive to discuss details. Oh, well. Look, she wants that fur outfit. Do you know where it is? Married? Isn't it marvellous? And I want to get her moving before she changes her mind. You know, Charlie. Now, I'll, I'll have to talk to your father, of course, and make arrangements, and the, the press will be on oh, to it. Simon, oh, you like can't it. marry Charlie. Come, Mario, what do you mean? Well, she's still an invalid. I mean, she's too weak. She looks fine to me. No, it's just too soon. I mean, we don't know yet. Don't know what? Ruth, what's the matter? She's jealous. <laughs> jealous! <laughs> Bessie told me. <laughs> You feel. You don't know. You damn well don't know. Run him down. Run him down. I'm coming. <laughs> You were trying to warn me about something and I didn't listen. What was it? I don't know. Like Carson, I just don't know. Eh? Well, they're disinfected. And if you just let the air get at them, I don't think they'll scar. Thank you, Ruth. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm not! I'm not! You'll have to drag me there! I can't force you to go to church, Susie. I wouldn't want to, but I would like you to go. Maybe she's getting sick or something. I'd better stay behind with her. Well, I have to go. There's no such thing as an ungodly diplomat. No, sir.
पैसे पैसे आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग अ कॉल फ्रॉम द स्टेट्स एंड आई जस्ट डिस्कवर दैट फादर लेफ्ट हिज नोट्स बिहाइंड वेल हिज नोट्स हीज डिलीवरिंग द एड्रेस टुडे एंड विदाउट हिज नोट्स हीज जस्ट गोइंग टू ड्राई अप आई वाज वंडरिंग इफ यू कुड रन देम ओवर फॉर मी ऑफ कोर्स आई विल वेयर इज ही इन चर्च यू नो विदाउट हिज नोट्स हीज लाइक अ शिप विदाउट अ सेल Twisted it. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Miss Harrow. I I'm afraid you'll have to go after all. Never mind. I'll I'll sit here and and wait for your call. I got your address from the agency. The nursing agency. I'm sorry to bother you, but I thought I might ask you a few questions. I understand a few months ago you were very ill. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, you're obviously fine now. Oh, I'm marvelous. Myself again. More than myself, I'm fine. I can see that. Well, it must have been a miracle cure. Oh, it was. Just a revelation. brought about by your nurse Miss Elizabeth Moon Dear little Bessie Oh I do wish she'd come and see me But she can't She told me she has other work to do What did you mean by that What work More miracle cures You don't like Bessie No I just would like to know more about her that's all I was hoping you'd be able to help more about her you want me to tell you more about Bessie hmm. i'll tell you i'll show you Carson, would you come here? Just uh, checking the grounds. It's not outside. You should be checking. Good news, my lovely. We found a new disciple. Crazy. You're crazy. Come on, Carson. Your dog. That atmosphere that you've been feeling. They are not facts. Then get some. You're supposed to be the security man around here, the investigator. I told you I saw Mrs. Fuller. Now if you're not going to believe me, oh, I'm going to get I believe you. I believe you saw what you saw. I'd like to have a look inside her room. Sometime when she's not there. But I can't leave your father. Father's going to be at the embassy all day tomorrow. He'll be knee deep in security men. It's just called. It seems they have a glut of eggs just now, new laid. 
Free range. We can have as many as we can carry. Susie, you want to come and help me? Look, it's only five minutes away. That new foal of theirs is up on its feet. I'd like to see that. Then you run along, my dear. Bessie, why don't you come along, too? We could certainly use an extra hand. Yeah, <laughs> you come too, Bessie, please. All right, my lovelies, why not? <laughs> Oh, dear. You know. It's no good, dear. No good at all. Not necessary at all. Still, it showed Willie. Now, why don't you fetch me my little box of drinks? Ruth, 
I think you must be mad. That's what Carson said, only now he's dead. Of natural causes. Look, do you think when a security man dies, they don't look at it from every angle? Check, double check. Ruth, read for yourself. Natural causes. No further need to investigate. He was searching Bessie's room. He was found dead here at this desk. And for Pete's sake, why would he want to search Bessie's room? Because she... she's evil. What is this, this constant persecution of Bessie by Maybe you? we are the ones who are being persecuted. Ruth, Look, darling, you're distraught. You're, you're upset. No, I, I am you. trying to save us, save this family. From what? I don't know. From Bessie. Oh, there you go with Bessie again. Father, I know that I am right about this. I know it. Now, Carson, you... I so... won't listen to you anymore. Father. Not another word. Father, please. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of that house, son. I was beginning to think that... You're a good driver. I'd like to think so. What man doesn't? Could we go faster? You wanted to talk to me. What about? I do want to talk to you. I'm going to tell you some things that you're not going to believe, but somehow I'm going to make you believe me. Let's just go faster. Make me believe what? You really are a good driver. You never once crashed a car, have you? to come to another one of your lovely parties especially if your husband's there in fact that's why i'm calling to tell you what good friends we are your husband and me <laughs> much much more than good friends as a matter of fact Sorry, the tire burst, the damn thing swerved. I, I couldn't control it. Well, for God's sake, what happened? Susie, turn that damn thing off. What happened? It's Ruth, sir. Ruth! I got her straight to the hospital. They examined her. There's nothing physically wrong. Take her upstairs, quick. It's just shock. It's just shock.
is she, Doctor? She's going to be all right, isn't she? Doctor? Oh, I agree with the hospital. Nothing physically wrong with her. No concussion. No, but she, she's just, just lying there, not moving. Well, your daughter's in a state of catatonic shock, Mr. Harrow. But purely psychological, just as real as a physical paralysis. When will she come out of it? Can't tell. A few hours, perhaps? Or a few weeks. Weeks? Oh, we'll keep her warm. Feed her intravenously, if necessary. Hey. Ah. It's a good thing you're still here. I'm not expecting another of your miracle cures, but you will stay on and look after her, won't you? Of course I will. Well done. Don't you worry yourself, Mr. Harrow. I'll mm. take good care of Ruth for you. Yes, thank you. Start right away. Yes, well, it really is only a question of time, Mr. Harrow. I think the main thing really is um, not to worry. Uh, do you want to prescribe anything for you? Uh, no, no, I'll be all right. Thanks, Doctor. I'll call in again tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mr. Harrow, I... I Simon, look, I, I don't blame you. Accidents happen. You didn't plan this. No. First Charlie, then Ruth. This family seems fated. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm sure you can. I usually like to wait a few weeks to get to know my little charges a bit better, but you, dear, I feel I know you very well. Shock's a funny thing. Oh, I've seen several cases of it. Some of them lying there like dead things for weeks, sometimes years. You wouldn't like that to happen to you, would you, dear? That's why I'm making you this little offer. Now, my side of the bargain is to make you well again. Overnight, in seconds, just like Charlie. Your side is a bit more complicated, but ever so simple, really. Look at me, dear. You do know who I am, don't you? Look at me. You do know who I am, don't you? Look at me. What are you doing? You haven't forgotten. Forgotten what? The Fosters. They invited us over to spend the afternoon. All of us. Damn it, I had forgotten. Well, I want to go. There should be some men there. <laughs> we, we can't leave Ruth. Now, don't you worry about Ruth, Mr. Harrow. I'll take good care of her. You run along and enjoy yourselves. And be faithful, my dears. Oh. <laughs> Susie, are you ready? Here we go. I'll be in to take care of you again later, dear. Later.
Mr. Lyle. Mr. Lyle. Hello? Ruth? Simon, you're there then. Well, yes, I'm here, but... Well, have you spoken to him? What does he say? Nothing. Look, Ruth, he's a drunk. A nut. He can't possibly I checked. Us. He's the only one who can do it. But Ruth... Bring him. Please, just bring him now. Twenty-one of us. Twenty-one. The brothers of charity. There used to be twenty-one of us. Every time we meet him, you see, it diminishes us. If you will oblige me, brother. The Bible. I'm sorry. Understandable mistake. My face reflects my folly. Just a mortal man. Aren't we all? No. Not all. That is a mistake you must not make. We should hurry. You didn't need me after all, did you, dear? You were playing tricks on old Bessie. Oh, dear, you do look pale. Peeped into my little box of tricks, didn't you? Don't know why it should revolt you so much. It's just things that people do. Break it. Oh, you can't win them all. I shall have to give your soul to him. You are clever, dear. Lucifer, Prince of Darkness, one that never dies. I challenge thee. Brother Lyle. Call me not, brother. I've cast out all sin. Call me not, brother. Cast out. Cast out. Is that what you've done, dear? <laughs> I would say good, but then you know it's not one of my favorite words. You look pale, Brother Lyle, so careworn. Perhaps I... Don't could... touch me. Oh, but I have such healing hands. Don't touch me. Ah, that's a nice book. I've mentioned it several times. It's a good... Oh, there's that word again. Good is such a poor, pious word. Not enough fire and brimstone for my taste. Not enough fire. 
<laughs> I'm full of party tricks, Brother Lyle. <laughs> <laughs> Full of party tricks, Brother Lyle. Stay from me, Satan. Oh, come on, dear. I'm part of your nature. The part you like best. No! Never denied it. Devil! Oh. Not twice, dearie. <gasps> ah! Ah! <laughs> you do have a vivid imagination, don't you, dear? Nice to play with, though. I expect you see lots of serpents and snakes and things when you've been drinking heavily. And you do like a drink, don't you? Liquor is an abomination. Oh, yes, you do. I expect your throat's feeling quite dry even now. You'll not tempt me, you'll not. Ah, temptation is a very personal thing between you and the bottle. Satan's fluid. Come on, dear, spoil yourself. No! I'll go see from this house! Cast me from anywhere. Your spirit's strong, but this spirit's stronger. Each encounter leaves its mark on all of us.